if you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So strap in because today we're going to talk about a bit of a serious topic that's been under a lot of debate on Twitter in the past few days between the Twitter and the gaming community on Twitter. And this is in regards to Asmongold's recent racist outburst that won him a 14 day ban on Twitch. A lot of you are probably asking who the f*** is Asmongold? Asmongold is one of the biggest English speaking streamers in the world and definitely one of the biggest streamers on Twitch and is known for his outspoken nature, large online following. 400k, we get four, we get 400k viewers, that's crazy, that's a lot, that's like 100k more than we had earlier, wow, that's amazing. And uh, healthy and clean living conditions. However, as of yesterday, Asmin has received a 14 day ban on Twitch as a result of incredibly racist comments that he made on Islamic people and specifically the people of Gaza in his last stream. And when I tell you the backlash was swift, within a few hours there was clips circulating Instagram, Twitter, all social media platforms about the comments that he made in that stream. But let's hold up for a second now and let me produce the video receipts. But Massive trigger warning on this if you're Muslim, if you have family who are Muslim, or if you have family who are from any Arabic countries, massive trigger warning on these massively ignorant remarks that are going to be made in this video. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a f***ing river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a f They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. I still can't believe that he thought he could say that on Twitch and get away with it. Because you know for a fact that if this was him talking about like African Americans or Jewish people, he'd never dream about saying something like that and calling those groups of people inferior cultures because it'd be like setting his career on fire. You can't join mathletes, it's social suicide. But let's be pedantic for a second and give him his moment and try and understand what he was trying to say and put it in a more family-friendly lice. I think that he's trying to get across that under Sharia law, it is illegal to be gay and it is punishable by death and that he doesn't agree with these values because I also agree, it's entirely unethical and immoral to think like this. However, not everyone in Arabic countries think like this. Just like how everyone in America doesn't think that abortion should be illegal and that being transgender should be illegal. This is an extremist law and there's extremists all over the world. There's extremists in America, there's extremists in Arabic countries, there's extremists everywhere. But for you to sit there and paint everyone with the same brush also makes you extremely narrow-minded and an extremist asman. Nobody gets to decide where they drop spawn into this map and no one should be held accountable for laws that were made before they were spawned that they might or might not agree with. Anyway, yesterday on the 15th, he dropped this on Twitter. Looking back on it, I was way too much of an a-hole about the Palestinian thing. My bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid like that. I'll do better. And hear me out. I hate this stupid apology cancel culture more than anyone else because the most cringy thing is watching someone make a 10 minute long video where they beg and cry and snot nose for the internet overlords to have their forgiveness. It just gives chronically online entitlement. But my bad isn't an apology. You called all your Islamic friends and followers inferior and then type my bad. It's kind of a Chad response to me. He does end it with a, I'll do better. And I do honestly hope that he does do better because 
I like watching his videos. I watch his videos most mornings while I'm getting ready for stream and hopefully find something to talk about while on stream. And I do like how he's unapologetically always himself. And he's a great advocate for mental health. And if you haven't seen some of his recent videos, he discusses in detail how his mental health has affected him throughout his life. And he's a great example of how like the mental health can affect your physical health as well. It does genuinely suck that he did say that but hopefully a two week ban will be good for him so we can have time to reflect and relax and come back with a better head on his shoulders and I'll be waiting until then. If you like this video, please check out the rest of the videos on my page. And if you like streamers, I'm always streaming Monday to Friday, 12 to 5 p.m. every week. So hopefully see you there too. Shlan!